students welcome to prs biology today i'll talking about your second ncert chapter for class 12 biology that is the sexual reproduction in flowering plants the chapter comprises about the sexual reproduction process occurs in the flowering plants that is the angiosperms before proceeding the sexual reproduction process of the flowering plants completed in a very sequential and complicated steps the first step is the sporogenesis microsporogenesis is the process of formation of male spore or microspore this male spore or microspore produce within the male reproductive part of the flower that is the androecium so we already know that uh, the stamen or androecium has a three main part that is anther filament and connective here you can see the anther is bilobed and when we dissect the anther here you can see the pore chamber it is called the pollen sac and within the pollen sac the microspores or the pollen grains will produce this microspore later form the male gametophyte through another process called male gametogenesis or microgametogenesis two male gametes will produce the after the male gametogenesis the pollen sac is also called the microsporangium and within the microsporangium the microspores or male spores will produce. here you can see the microsporangium or the pollen sac in a bilobed anther it is pore chambered and the pollen grains are produced within the pollen sacs these are the line of dehiscence through this line of dehiscence after maturity the pollen grains are liberated after rupturing the wall of the microsporangium pollen grains are disseminated into the wind and pollination occurs so here you got the terms that is the bilobed anther that is anther has two lobe and within a bilobed anther four microsporangium or the pollen sacs are formed So it is the detailed structure of a tetrasporangiate microsporangium. Tetrasporangiate means it has the four chambers that hence it is called the tetrasporangiate microsporangium. So it is very important for your board exams and several questions will come from this part. You can see here the microsporangium has several layer of cells the outermost layer of the microsporangia is called the epidermis so it forms the walls of the microsporangia next to the epidermis there is endothesium so epidermis and endothesium represents the outermost layers of the microsporangia the most important layer here you can see is the innermost layer and it is called the tapetum so tapetum is the layer having many significance because it provide nutrition to the developing microspores or the pollen grains there is another layer in present in between the tapetum and the endothesium and it is called the middle layer you also familiar with another part of the stamen that is the connective here you can see the vascular strand it connect the anther to the filament and it is a sterile part of the stamen the utmost important layer of cells present in the center of the microsporangium here you can see and it is the sporogenous cells so the sporogenous cells after mitotic diffusion gives rise the pollen mother
mother cell or microspore mother cell MMC or PMC that will grip rise the microspores or the pollen grains so the sporogenous tissue present in the center after its division gives rise the microspore mother cell that will ultimately gives rise the microspores so here you can see the microspore mother cell or mmc that produce after the mitotic division of the sporogenous cells so now the microspore mother cell undergo meiotic division meiosis division the meiosis division gives rise the four haploid microspores at first the microspore mother cell nucleus divides into two then it gives rise the four nucleus and it ultimately produce the four microspore tetrad so here you can see the pollen grains or microspores are produced in the tetrad from form the meiosis division of the microspore mother cells here you can see the microspore tetrad after the formation of the microspore tetrad through the meiosis division it wraps her and from each of the microspore tetrad four microspores will produce so this is the very important things to remember now we are taking the example of one microspore and its further maturation process the microspore nucleus now divides and form two nucleus that is one vegetative nucleus and the other is generative nucleus here you can see the vegetative cell is the major portion occupied in the microspore and the generative cell is the narrower portion that the generative cell containing the generative nucleus and the vegetative cell or the body cell containing the vegetative nucleus the vegetative cell or the body cell has its own significance it is also called the tube cell and the nucleus is called the tube nucleus because it develops the germ tube after pollination but the main significance is the generative cells that contain the generative nucleus that it will later divides into two and forms the two male gametes the male gametes will produce through the process of male gametogenesis and that structure is called the male gametophyte so here you can see the structure of a mature microspore or pollen grain the structure of the pollen grain or microspore is very depending on the species of the plant but the general structure of the microspore has a outer layer of wall and it is rough called the exine the innermost layer is smooth and it is called the intine the intine surrounds the cytoplasm and it is the dense cytoplasm the outermost layer or wall that is the exine is not continuous it has several pores called the germ pores so i have already told you that from the vegetative part a germ tube will produce and from this germ pore the vegetative tube that is the germ tube will comes out here you can see the vegetative part that will produce the germ tube is called the tube tube cell and the tube cell containing the nucleus is called the tube so the vegetative cell or the tube cell is the same thing here you can see the generative cell has its generative nucleus that will later, later forms the male two male gametes through the process of 
mill gametogenesis or microgametogenesis so the microsporogenesis is the process of formation of the male spore or the microspore and the microsporogenesis is the first stage so the pollen grains or the microspores belongs to the male part of the sexually reproducing flowering plants